Hello, welcome back to Exotic Wine Travel. I am your host, Matthew Horky. Hi, I'm Shereen Tai. Welcome back to the show Shereen. today. We have an exciting show because we're doing big balling, rolling some high money peanut <laughs> oils. Uh, before we get started, I want to let you guys know that this video has not been paid for in any way, shape, or form. But if you do like these videos, if they add value to your life, check out our guide to the wine of Santa Barbara called... Sipping Santa Barbara, recommended wines and producers. I'll put that up on the screen, available on Amazon? PDF, Kindle, and, and EPUB on Amazon. Uh, we poured, you know, I'm excited about tasting these wines. We used our Coravin Model 2 Elite. Thank you so much to Coravin for providing us a test sample to use. We wouldn't have gotten through these episodes without it. And we're pouring into these beautiful Gabriel Gold Edition hand-blown glasses. I will have discount code up for Gabriel Glass Stemware at the end of the video. You ready to get started? Let's go for it. Okay, balling Pinot Noirs from Santa Barbara <laughs> County. The balling episode. When I say balling is because I told that to Shereen. She said, balling Pinot Noir? What? I was like, what producer is called balling? What? <laughs> so what I mean by that, in, in Santa Barbara County, <clears throat> 30 to 45 50 dollars, US dollars that is, getting you some really nice everything from Appalachian to single vineyard level mm -hmm. Pinot Noir. When you start climbing over fifty dollars, you're talking about some of the cult producers, some of the big time wines. I mean, I think the highest Pinot Noir that goes there maybe a C smoke, C smoke ten is in the hundred dollar yeah, no, range. Yeah. Uh, so let's get, uh, let's get into some of these wines. We have wines. These are all well above $50 and let's get Go started. For it. First of all, we have the Lumen Pinot Noir Presqu'ile Vineyard 2015. This is clone 667. Only two barrels of this were made, 47 cases, mm. uh, aged in 50% new Hungarian oak, 50% neutral oak. We love these wines, Lumen is a project. Uh, Lane Tanner is the winemaker, one of the oldest independent female winemakers in Santa Barbara County. And crazy here, you already are loving this, right? They had when on their website. They this is only available to club members, I believe. Rolling in at sixty-two U.S. dollars. Most of the wines are thirty dollars. They say drink this to two thousand thirty and beyond. That is some big time claims. Let's give this a smell here. What you think? I think like all Lumen wine, it usually needs a while to open up. But mm. I find the nose really interesting even at this point. I think you might like it a bit more right now because it's robbery. It's get it's it, to me this is already smelling kind of like great Pinot Noir to mm -hmm. me. Because I love it's perfumed. Uh it has the fall leaves notes, right? Lots of spiciness. Anise. Clove. Still get your red fruit. Let's give this a go. Pinot Noir has some muscle. <laughs> yeah, this is exactly the kind of Pinot Noir I like. <laughs> why, why? It's, big, it's big Pinot Noir. It's intense. It's still silky. Yeah. It has a spicy finish. It's got crunchy acidity. This is really, really good stuff. Anything else you want to add? I mean, like, what else do you... you oh, say? drink it 12 hours later, but I love this wine right now. It's just a beautiful weight in the mouth. This is fantastic wine. I mean, for me... 4.4 out of 5 on this easy. Anything else that you want? Because you say you this is the kind of Pinot Noir you like. Anything else? It's the structure. At the end of the day, for me, Pinot Noir, I joke around with people quite a fair bit and I say that I like the kind of Pinot Noir that doesn't taste like Pinot Noir. But I don't mean it as a way like um, a Pinot Noir making Cabernet style. I just like Pinot Noir with this small tannins and very structured mouthfeel. This is incredibly yeah. structured. This is brilliant stuff. Good job, Lane. Wow. This Did is... you just take a sip? Yeah, okay. I just drank it. I don't care. Anything else you want to add before we move on? Mm. You want to save it for later? <laughs> you want to switch me glasses? I'll write a proper tasting note. You want to switch me glasses? Later. Okay, let's get started here. Uh, get started. Let's move on here. We have a producer that actually we did not visit nor taste from when we did our research trip to Santa Barbara County. And she saw some of our articles and she actually reached out to us, Kimberly Smith from La Montagne Wine. So I get to give her props for reaching out to us and taking initiative, right? Mm -hmm. And <clears throat> she was very responsive the whole time. Yeah, Jen. she's fantastic. Uh, great. She's, uh, I think her and her husband own, I think, a garbage disposal company in Lumpok. 
she wanted to get into winemaking because she wanted to know why wines were expensive. She was spending $50 for Pinot Noir. So she actually found Wes Hagen, tracked him down, and he was her mentor for making wines for a while. She only makes single vineyard lot Pinot Noir, uh, Chardonnay, and some other grapes as well. You ready to get started? Yeah, and Wes Hagen is now at Jay Wilkes Josh. Winery. We're excited. So this is, uh, the, the and these wines are not cheap. The, this is, we're going to go by upwards by price. These are all different vintages. This is 15. This is 2012. Well, if we're going older. La Montagne John Sebastiano uh, Vineyard, which vineyard we really like, 2012, 68 US dollars. So we are not playing around. You are a big fan of this vineyard, right? Mm -hmm. This is darker in color, I feel like the lumen. Let's give this a little bit of a go. The you know this I'm really excited to taste these La Montagne wines because they are not scored by uh, professional critics very much. I know she has a tasting room in the Lumpok Wine Ghetto. Let's see what she's got, Kimberly. Let's see what you got. Very Senorita Hillsy to me. Cherry rhubarb for me. A little bit of spice, a touch of wood, but wood done right. Anything else you want to add on that? The the fruit is very focused. Anything else? Earthy. More fruity than this one. More a little more powerful, like Santa Rita Hills is. Let me give this a little bit of a go. Yet. What do you think? I like it a lot. Um, the tertiary notes is beginning to come out. Yeah, I'm even getting a little bit of tobacco ness. Just a hint in the mouth. Love the silky mouthfeel. So silky. Uh, big. This is definitely more fruit. As Senorita Hills is often, I think, more fruit. The Pinot Noir, to me, is a little bit more fruity. This has structure. It's plush. It's big. I think I'm pretty impressed with this. I'm 4.3 out of 5. I think this is very good wine. This is a kind of wine... She doesn't get scores from critics. Easily going to score 92 points. Something like that. Anything else you want to add on the John Sebastiano Vineyard? John Sebastiano Vineyard typically has very good clarity of fruit. This is the phenolic ripeness that you really get in, in their wine. This good stuff. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty impressed for uh, for Kimberly, especially her not be coming from a wine family winemaker background. Her first vintage was only 2010, actually. Let's move on to her 2014 La Montagne Kessler Hock Vineyard, 2014. This is a whopping 75 U.S. dollars. So she is not playing around. You have a lot of space, you know. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, once again, with her wines, you're going to get a little bit more intense color. Let's give this a little bit of a go. For me, this is a lot of cranberry and cherry. Anything else? Freshly tilled soy. Oh, yeah. Or this, this to me is a lot. This to me is intri The nose is intriguing me more than the John Sebastian. John I, Sebastian was all fruit for me. This is more earthy to me. It, this it, one is and more what, what are you And what are you liking more? I uh, haven't tasted it. It's just the aroma. Okay. Let's give this a go here. Ooh. I see what Shireen says. She's a little bit harder than me on Pinot Noir because she's a Pinot Noir critic. Wow, the finish is beautiful. It's, it's really good. The finish almost tastes like a rose syrup. Very intense. Structure and a little, like a little bit of menthol -y or some kind of peppermint um, to like finish. Uh, this is really good. Really earthy. I wonder if she uses whole clusters. The tannins are pretty biting. Yeah, the tannins are biting. Menthol finish. This isn't a huge Pinot Noir, uh, but the earthiness, everything, the earthiness is coming through for me. Perfume, a long, like, can I say, pepperminty type mm -hmm. of finish. I am pretty high on this wine as well. I think I'm about 4.4. I'm about equal to Lane Tanner's wine. What do you think in terms of quality? All good wines. I would say that this is the wine, these two other wines that I can drink today. This, I would definitely have to sell it for a while. But I'm more intrigued by, by this because of the earthy aroma 
that is dominating. Yeah, yeah. I think this is really good stuff. So nice, job, especially because I mean, Lane Tanner's a lot of pedigree, been making wine for a long time. Kimber Smith, a fairly new gal on the block. A nice job with these wines. I, I am. I agree. This is so structured and earthy. I want to see what this will become. How I mean, yeah. how long do you think before we pop it open again? Three years. Three, four years. Year, okay. At least. Um. That said, even though we keep saying that it's earthy, most importantly, it has a lot of fruit to back up the earthiness. Now, I, I mentioned that because I don't like full fledged earthy Pinot Noir. That's a no no for me. So you know, big baller Pinot Noir. The wines were very good. You know, is it worth your money? Uh, that's up to you to decide. I think these wines are pretty darn good. So right now, guys. I'm going to put the discount code for the Gabriel Glass up on the screen right now. You get 15% off the Standard Edition, which is the Machine Blown or the Alpha Decanter. I will put our guide to the wines of Santa Barbara up on the screen. Anything you want to add on the big baller Pinot Noir? <laughs> no, that's all. <laughs> so, guys, if you like this video, please subscribe to our YouTube channel, Exotic Wine Travel. I will see you in the next episode.